If you watched my previous video, you should know that different KV should produce the same torque. There are four main reasons why this isn't true. Circuit effect, joule losses, core saturation, and skin effect. Today we'll talk about the first one, which is the most important. So we said that a higher KV motor should compensate the lower number of windings with a higher current. Unfortunately, this is exactly true only if the motor and battery would be close together. In fact, between them there's a lot of stuff. Lots of wires, ESC, PDB, connectors, solder points, and the internal resistance of the battery. Let's make a quick example. I quote these numbers from a famous manufacturer. We have two motors in the same series, 2500 kV and 2200 kV. For an approximate 14% increase in kV, we get a reduction of 14% of electrical resistance. But if we add the resistance of the circuit between the motor and the battery, which is in series between them, the higher kV motor is seen as just 7% less resistance from the battery. Thus, the current will be lower than expected. Pushing the performance of motors, we reach the point where the resistance of the motor is even less than the circuit before it. So the torque curve of the motor, which is usual in other low power applications, now is distorted into this, where the lower KV motor has a torque advantage up to a point where the higher KV1 takes over. Using these graphs, we'll understand the effect of different propellers on different motors. Stay tuned. If you liked this video, please subscribe to the channel to help me make more videos like this. Thanks for watching.